And here comes one of my favorites. The following is a fatal four-way match. Making his way to the ring from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, AJ Styles. The WWE Universe already reaching a fever pitch upon their arrival, and we are just seconds away from a highly anticipated match. Look at the focus and drive in his eyes, ready to prove he's the best this division has to offer. Things are about to get good. And his opponents, first from Apple Valley, Minnesota, weighing in at 230 pounds, Mr. Jimmy. Here's a competitor who knows the value of respect. At every show, this one asks me how my day is going and even compliments my suit. Wow, a goody two-shoes and a liar. What a terrible person. <laughs> He's been demanding this match for quite some time, and now he is ready to compete. Creatures of the night rejoice. The dead man has returned. The aura of the Undertaker is one that always intimidates. And from Death Valley, weighing in at 299 pounds, the The magnificence of the Phenom. Truly a mesmerizing scene. The legendary Phenom creates an atmosphere unlike anything you will see. Talk to anyone who's ever been in the ring opposite The Undertaker and they will tell you nothing prepares you for this. The stoic walk of the dead man. Surreal moment here tonight. An awe-inspiring, truly frightening sight. The Undertaker's opponent better get ready. He's about to meet his maker.
Oh, yeah, I am pumped for this guy. And from Augusta, Maine, weighing in at 228 pounds, Dirty Dan Oh, I'm going to come right out and say it. Yes, this athlete takes great appreciation in their own in-ring performances, but it doesn't make them a bad person. Who says it does? But on that topic, they're not my cup of tea. Actually, a little more like a cup of raw sewage, if we're being perfectly honest. He says it's all about dominance tonight and plans on showing why everyone backstage should be scared. Four superstars in hostile competition. The M.O. of a fatal four-way match. No friends in a fatal four-way. You gotta look out for number one. Into a moonsault! What a combo! Oh, weakening the leg here. Brutal move that can take away all the mobility in that leg. Not right to the throat. Looking wobbly in the corner. Big forearm. Knew what was coming from Taker. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Can't prepare your face for that. Corey, what are the perils of this match that superstars must be concerned with? Well, this is the type of setting where you must be aware of outside interference because when it's no disqualification, it's not considered interference. It's legal. The match can change in an instant when another individual who is not officially part of the match makes their presence felt. That's when a competitor needs to utilize the anything go stipulation to their benefit and eliminate the mismatch. It's hard enough to do a moonsault from the ropes, but standing next to your opponent? Now that's something else. What an interference. Back to Undertaker. Lifted way up. That'll jam your tailbone. Oh, look at this. Arm wrench. Look out. This match grinded him down a little. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Big knee to the midsection. Oh, hold on. What handed. He leaves the ring, and there's no countouts in this one. I guess he thinks his shoulders are down. Then now to Undertaker. Shoulder up, and the referee ends the count. Loose cover leads to a strong kick out. Oh. Arm ringer. Ooh, eats a big one. Whoa, turn that kendo stick into a long gun. Quickly to cover. And he breaks up the count. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. Hooked up. Oh, shit breaker. Hammering down on the knee. What a punch. This is attack. They have won that move from other sports for a reason. Next stretch. Into the ring again. Oh, the close line. This match is brutality starting to show on it. And the fatal four way stipulation. Submission move coming up. Cat Crusher submission. It Ooh, that 
The self-proclaimed last kicker. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. Sports entertainment is in her heart and her soul. You're right, Michael. Becky Lynch has been competing inside the ring since she was 15 years old. Uh, Becky may not have the best style or be the most dominant. She will fight with everything she has. She is the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. 
And her beauty is only matched by her success in the ring. And from Staten Island, New York, the SmackDown Women's Champion, the most beautiful woman in all of WWE, Carmella! Self-proclaimed most beautiful woman in all of WWE. Self-proclaimed, Cole, would you listen to yourself? I'm sitting right here. I'm making the proclamation. We are all witnessing the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. Corey, you're a bit biased. So? At least he admits it. Becky Lynch and Carmella set to get into the action here. Ironically enough, Corey, you want to go back to the genesis of the man. Carmella was one of the triggers for Becky's whole transformation. And that statement right there is part of the problem, Cole. Why does everything have to revolve around talking about Becky? Carmella feels like she's always been underestimated. Nobody expected her to succeed at this level. Overlooked, underestimated since day one, Carmella has a chance to silence all the doubters tonight and have everyone talking about Mel. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. There's the crucifix, nicely done. Oh my gosh, what impact. Ah, drop toe hold. Face first. Ah, look at this. Hair pulled match slam. Oh, and she got out of there. Ooh, elbow strike. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Carmella came in looking extremely confident, Byron, despite many people thinking she's the underdog here. Well, you can show confidence on the outside. You can claim that your money, but are you going to back it up with substance? Well, Carmella realizes how vital, how important the opportunity to take down Becky is. Can Mella get in Lynch's head is the question. Oh, boy. Here it comes. Will she get it fully locked in? She's got it locked in. No, she doesn't. That was a great counter and so simple. Super kick! And she goes for the pick. She breaks the count quick. I think this match still has a ways to go. Turning the tables there. Heads out of the ring. What's next? No! Oh! Oh, right to the kidneys. God, oh, and Becky fights back. She'll take things into the ring. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. She had it scouted. Uh. Boot to the stomach gives them separation. Stops the kick. Oh, elbow to the knee. That'll hyperextend your leg. And Lynch gets stonewalled. Uh, head scissors. Round and round we go. Head scissor. <laughs> Running hip attack. What impact. Consecutive attacks keeping Lynch off her game. Carmella's just doing what she pleases. And a slap, too. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. 
This is just punishing, disrespectful. Oh, definitely hurts. This match is wearing her down. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Ah, set out Matt Slam. Punch to the stomach and stopped in their tracks. And now Carmella has the momentum. The man's got to figure something out. Drop kick hits hard, lands harder. She's got to be careful here. The referee will count her out. Well scattered reversal there. Becky able to stop the blitz that was coming her way. Becky weathered the storm and wants to create a flurry of her own. All the way up for a suplex. No, 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 no. Wiggles free from behind. Chop block. Oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. Drops a leg. Picking up speed. <laughs> Becky Lynch with a great shot. Becky Lynch looking for the disarmor. Well, this won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict a great deal of punishment on an opponent. Not sure why, but she releases the hold. Well, I think she sensed her opponent was about to break free. Explorer suplex! And they can't beat the count. Double count out. Everyone stand in admiration because here comes one of the most magnificent women on earth. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Maurice. Oh, what a blessed evening it has already become. We are staring at elegance personified. Yeah, well, there's nothing elegant about her underhandedness. I don't trust Maurice at all. You wouldn't know what to do with a woman like Maurice, Saxton. I wouldn't want to do anything with a woman like Maurice, Corey. She is the embodiment of beauty and grace, and a tough competitor to boot. Ohio, Alexa! It is truly unbelievable to me that the crowd rallies behind someone so disingenuous, always making jokes on social media about the rest of the locker room. Well, Corey, so far, all the people who were called out deserve that hostility. Oh, <laughs> wait till I show you what they said about you. Determination in her eyes. She is more than ready for competition. Don't let her dazzling good looks distract you. Maurice is a cunning mix of beauty and brains. She's used her wiles plenty of times to get the better of competition, and she has no problem doing that again here tonight. Yeah, Maurice really knows how to control things in the ring, how to utilize a timely distraction, and how to make sure she gets her way when all is said and done. But you have to remember, she's going against someone who is singularly focused on winning this match, someone who only cares about winning no matter the cost. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. And a carefully measured knee drop. Oh, quite an effective counter. 
tossed back into the ring. Series of elbows looking to create separation. She does so. Using the hair to drag their opponent down. Oh, no. Look at this. You gotta be careful not to get disqualified. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Insulting. The disrespect can be tasted in their mouth. What a counter. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. STO! Oh, impact to the stomach. You really got to keep your head on a swivel when facing off against Maurice, don't you, Corey? It is a good idea to keep ringside in your... She got her down. Is this it? And she's not done yet. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. That offense taking a toll on her. Insult to injury. Now we're going to get a little... Oh, oh, it is. Oh, knees right to the gut. Dominating shoulder tackle. Oh, and Maurice turns the tables. Into the corner now. Bang! And that holds Maurice back. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. This is just punishing, disrespectful. Oh, definitely hurts. It goes without saying that there is a certain disdain for your opponent when you pull off something like that. Going for a power slam, steps down. Instead delivers the inverted DDT. Let their opponent set up. Drop kick to the back. Here's the cover. Kick out. Not even a near fall there. Point of the elbow finds the mark. Things not going how she'd like. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Got drop toe hole. Face first. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Oh. Maurice really showing how well scouted she has her opponent. Maurice with a French kiss. Maurice can taste victory now. Makes the cover. No, my, that was close. There was almost all over, almost a three count. Yeah, talk about a close call. Is there still enough left to try that maneuver again? Or is her confidence shaken? Stiff elbow will break that up. How insulting is that? Oh, saw it coming. Reversal after re Oh, kick to the midsection. DDT. And that can keep Maurice down. Cover. Two count. It wasn't enough. She kicked out. You have to wonder, what more does she have left? We have reached a whole other level here. A big opportunity for taking flight. unable to get the win here in this one. A true tragedy has befallen Maurice here tonight. I'm sure that's what she thinks.
Shaking hands, yeah. center of the ring, and here we go. May the best man win. I don't expect to see any more sportsmanship after the handshake. These two don't like each other, and they're battling for the same prize. I do expect a hard-hitting matchup, though. This match has started off on the right foot as we saw the honor these superstars share for each other. That kind of respect is something that can take a superstar to the next level in their career. Oh, come on, Saxton. In WWE, you got to hit first, or you'll be the one getting hit. I think Rage took over in that moment. Nothing. Play it, Possum! Whoa! Play it, Possum! And he gets the shoulder up. He's really trying to rush this man. Oh, man. Picture perfect drop kick. Kick to the gut. Now kick to the back. Just punishing their opponent from every angle possible. And now locking in the wrist. Oof. And look at it for a back suplex. Ooh. Very nice. He's got the shoulders down. And he gets two that time. That would have been absolutely shocking to end the match this early. Oh, the suplex. Now that'll do some serious damage. Corey, what do we need to see from Tyler Brace tonight if he wants to get ahead in this match? Tyler has an impressive amount of technical ability and know-how, but he just needs to focus. If he can push out all distractions and concentrate on getting the better of his opponent, he'll be in good shape. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. Guys, we could be looking at the start of one of the all-time great sports entertainment rivalries. Way to put the cart before the horse, Cole. Sure, there's potential here. There always is. But they're not exactly having to be ripped apart from each other yet. face again. He's absorbing some tough hits now. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Tyler Breeze looking defenseless to every attack. Tyler's toughness needs to kick in here. Close line in the corner. He's going for it all. We're gonna finish it off. He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. Ooh. Oh my God. Ah, uh, there's a clothesline. Another impact. Ducks underneath. Super kick. Black drop. Tyler Breeze with a double underhook on prayer. Is it enough? There's two. Just after two. He's determined to keep this matchup going. Breeze has him marked. Spinning heel kick. Celebration imminent for Tyler. Cover. Oh, he kicked out. I don't know how he did it, but he's hanging in there. Just how much pain is he willing to endure in this match? This was the moment to capitalize on. That should have been the end. I don't know how there's anything left in these superstars' bodies. Yeah, the tank is being emptied tonight. Oh, no, just a little disrespect. And now the pace of this match being set by Breeze. What focused offense from Tyler Breeze, showing off his highly technical skills. Oh, and a forearm. Oh, he knew what was coming. Getting him into the corner, and he has an answer for Breeze. He's just getting beaten at all fronts here. These are dire straits for him. He needs to be extra cautious now. Yeah, Breeze isn't looking too gorgeous at the moment. Whoa, oh, man. Inside out. Oh, and a stop. Breeze looks like a sitting duck right now. Hangs on by a thread. 
somehow, someway escapes defeat. Still alive. And now the question runs in the mind, how am I gonna be able to end this? Reversal, can they go on the attack? Setting foot in the ring now. Look at this, boom, nice. Picking up speed, building momentum. They're trying to change the tides of the match. No try, and the superstar has changed the tides of the match. Consecutive attempt. He may get the three count right here. This is it. Guys, he put him away. That's a pretty big win. Here is your winner, Ethan. I have to commend them for the respect they displayed bell to bell. Absolutely, Corey. This is a merited victory by far. Definitely a feel-good moment, guys. I have a feeling that this win and the show of respect will get noticed by the higher-ups. Yeah, Byron. This might be a landmark moment for them. The king of strong style. Ready to deliver big hits and get the big win. That's the only way he knows how. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kyoto, Japan. Weighing in at 220 pounds. But WWE Intercontinental Champion Shinsuke Nakamura. A Royal Rumble winner, a man who's held multiple championships. A top elite level competitor all over the globe. After all these years, a veteran who hasn't lost any of his edge. Shinsuke is battle tested and looks ready for more. Facing a man in the Miz who knows how to win, it will take any opportunity to capitalize. Now here's a man, The Miz, who is one of the most accomplished stars in the history of WWE. Just one of the many reasons why he is the A-lister. And his opponent from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, The Miz! Out of everyone The Miz has faced throughout his career, his greatest opponent is the rule book. Someone who will do anything necessary to win and, of course, protect his status. Because everything he touches turns to gold. An A-lister is must-see all day, every day. The WWE's resident A-list celebrity, The Miz, looking to make a star shine even brighter tonight. 
Miz is one of the WWE's biggest stars ever, and there's no question why. He's one of the most dedicated athletes we've ever seen here. Whether you agree with his tactics or not, you can't deny his desire to win. We'll see if those tactics come to fruition once again in this match. And ready for him across the ring, we have Shinsuke Nakamura, who has made his foundation by traveling the globe and taking on any opponent who dares step in the ring with him. Absolutely, Corey. Fear is not an emotion we've seen from Shin. He faces every opponent with the same level of determination that has made him so widely known. I don't think he's approaching this match with anything less tonight. Ah, stop in the leg! Just nasty. Who won the race? Charlie's horse. Just going all out with every blow. Ooh, nasty kick. He's turning the tables. We've come to expect outright cowardice from the Miz in his matches. Do you think we'll see him running around the ring with his tail between his legs tonight? Honestly, Cole, I am astonished that you'd describe Miz's incredible ring awareness like that. Miz is a master of knowing when it's time to fight and when it's time to make a tactical retreat. And yes, I fully expect to see him use those skills tonight. The old adage fits the A-lister to a T. Fight smarter, not harder. Oh! Oh! Across the top rope. What a hot shot. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? And Miz gets stopped in his tracks. Thrown back in under the ropes. Ah, running knee lift. He's absorbed some damage already. And Shinsuke putting all of his stunning power behind that flashy attack. Able to interrupt the attack. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. the counter. Overhead with the German. He turns it around. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Pressure must be kept on. Had misses. Will it be? No, he gets the shoulder up. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Shutting that down with the back elbow. He's able to fend off the attack. Boom! Running STO plants him. Nicely done. Oh, what a plex. He's starting to struggle here. Shinsuke orchestrated that attack to perfection. Hard impact on the back. Vicious right forearm. Oh, what power with the German.
And Shinsuke Nakamura walks away with the W. The A-lister's going to have to talk to his PR team about this. This loss is absolutely unacceptable. Oh, boy. The WWE Universe just exploded! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 218 pounds. The Superstar! The moment this match was announced, the WWE Universe has expected a classic. I think it is destined to deliver. This superstar says he has a plan for everything, but he's facing a nearly supernatural opponent in Bray Wyatt. We'll see if he can plan for that. The lights have gone out, heralding the arrival of Bray Wyatt.
It's really hard to know what to make of Wyatt. There's a darkness at work here. A darkness that has swallowed Bray Wyatt whole. What has Wyatt concocted for this match? What is he thinking? And a huge opportunity ahead for this superstar here tonight, but also a huge risk. You could say that again. Getting a W over a champion is a good way to raise your stock in a hurry. But taking the loss, well... Yeah, you could probably figure that one out for yourselves at home. Point is, high risk, high reward here tonight. But let's get to Bray Wyatt. As mysterious as he is dangerous, you look into his eyes and tell me that you don't see darkness and chaos swirling inside him. He may dress like your friendly neighbor, but trust me, he has bad intentions. That's exactly what makes Wyatt so captivating. Watching him in the ring often sends a chill down your spine, but you still can't look away. There's a bizarre beauty to the way that he orchestrates destruction and havoc between the ropes. Whoa, countering with a chop block will alter any attack. Hooks it up. Oh, Falconero suplex. Oh, look at this. Just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. Cranking the head. He's got the answer for that one. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. We make a lot of Bray Wyatt's horror, his presence, but when it comes to winning the match, what's his ace in the hole here? Power. Bray can hit like a tank when he wants to. All the spooky stuff helps, but in terms of him and the other guy, he needs to hold nothing back and let her rip. Continuing to attack the neck across the top rope. He's been placed in the corner now. Evades the attack. Caught in a bad position here. Oh my God, right over the top and hit hard. And out at ringside is not the place you want to be grounded. Up and, oh, knee right to the spine. Strong impact. Uh-oh, he could be looking for a submission here. Oh, my God. Superhuman power. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of damage. Uh, a couple of knees there. That'll get him out of it. Sister Abigail. Unique and effective maneuver from Wyatt. He has his opponent and the WWE Universe in the palm of his hand now. He's going for the pin. This could be it. He breaks the ref's count before two. These one counts are going to get harder and harder to kick out of. Close line. Right to the back of the neck. Uh-oh, Mandible Claw. Will Wyatt end it here? There's two! He stays alive, he stays alive! His opponent thought he had it in the bag for sure. This is when you have to switch game plans. You can't let yourself get discouraged. While Wyatt now, I hate to get into his head, but part of him might enjoy prolonging the suffering. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. From the top, top and down. Are we about to witness the end for Bray? Well, it's not going to be pretty. Go to sleep, GTS. 
night, night. And Bray finds himself in trouble. Wow, just barely making it out. There is something inhuman in the soul of Bray Wyatt. It's the only explanation for what we just saw. Big move, but it's still unable to end this. Oh, what a knee. And Wyatt is not accustomed to this position. But Wyatt can't allow this burst to hinder him. Neck breaker after the float over. That was pretty. The close of this match is just ahead. There is no way this can go on for much longer. The light from Bray's fireflies may be dimming. <laughs> Repeated pit butts. bludgeoning their opponent. Taking the wind out with a stomp to the solar plexus. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Oh, the throat. Delivers the knee. Bray Wyatt measuring his man. Elbow drop. Bray now. Won't give up. Oh, that was just malicious. Insulting. Has the leg trap. Fisherman suplex. Vicious right forearm. Boom, snaps the leg across the head. Arm ringer applied into the top wrist lock. Full control now. Oof. But here comes. Oh, and soon we could be seeing a submission here. He is in serious trouble here and finds his way out. These competitors are pushing themselves beyond their limits. Here he goes for the win. Can he close it out? the close count. I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. Oh, foot just stomping down. Got the head scissors cinched in, and here come the elbows. Vicious. Any more hits in that area could leave him dizzy. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. Oh! This is what you call high risk High reward. Getting up, but doesn't have a clue what's coming at him. Up high. Good Lord. Taking flight. Soaring through the sky and crashing onto their opponent. Momentum going back to Bray's corner. Yeah, Wyatt getting some newly determined focus. Right to the leg. Some good contact by Bray Wyatt. Get the ice pack ready. Some mental chess here from Wyatt. To the outside. This could get wild. And Wyatt falls to a counter. Elbow drop. Piercing. Ray reverses. And he goes into the ring. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. He's back in so close to a count out. You do not want to lose that way. Uh-oh, gonna climb up to the top rope. What do they have planned here? Hooking the arms of their opponent. This is gonna be nasty from the top. Avalanche pedigree! And Bray finds himself in trouble. That's gotta be it. Two. It's over. It is over. Here is your winner.
A dark loss for Bray Wyatt here. No telling the effect this will have on Wyatt's mind. Perhaps further down its already twisted path. Is that even possible?